Welcome to the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel where we cover the news, facts, and sentiments about the crypto market. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. Guys, I am traveling for work, that's why I'm not on video, but definitely want to talk about the big news in the crypto market. Today we had, of course, a big sell-off. We are currently in a downtrend. Bitcoin currently at uh, $8,687, Ethereum at $216, uh, XRP at uh, close to $0.23. Cents. So everything's red across the board. And part of this sell-off is uh, the coronavirus fears. You know, we heard about the CDC here in the U.S. mentioned that U.S. needs to prepare for the coronavirus because there could be some issues like there is in China. We'll have to see how that plays out. But all markets were essentially affected, crypto uh, included, and gold and stocks and so forth had sell-offs. So at this point, this is going to be a tiny blip in the whole bigger timeline of the market. As we've always talked about, zoom out. You're going to have these things happen along the way. But we are on the rise, and you have to really zoom out. You can't be looking at daily and weekly in the past couple of months charts. You've got to zoom out and see where we came from. Uh, keeping in mind the last bear market, we bought them at 3000 for Bitcoin and we've been on the rise since then and we have to be patient and go through the cycles now despite the prices big money continues to invest expand and and do mergers and acquisitions and partnerships those things are still happening so that's the difference between the average Joe for the most part and uh, big money guys so let me share the news here with you ripple has partnered with as Zemo to deliver faster and cheaper payments through ODL, Ripple's ODL. They publish an article here, and this is going to be specifically for international payments into the Philippines. Now, this uh, comes as the news we covered yesterday on the MoneyGram earnings call. They talked about expanding to the Asian markets, and we're already seeing that the next day Ripple you know, posted these articles. And um, of course, it's going to use Ripple's on-demand liquidity, ODL, which leverages the digital asset XRP to bridge two currencies within seconds. So that is exclusively highlighted here. So just want to make sure that uh, that is clear. So this is why I am bullish on XRP. And also some new uh, news here from Ripple from today. They, they said here, together with Cross and our newly added customers, sent be hand pass wire wire barley and more we are dramatically improving the cross-border payments experience in korea so once again more of the asian markets and this is what moneygram said they were going to be doing in expanding into new corridors so uh, ripple of course highlighted this and mentioned they will be uh partnering with all these different folks and targeting this market so great news as the as the corridors open up and the expansion of partners and that means more opportunities for xrp to be leveraged will xrp be leveraged in every transaction obviously not right it's going to be a mixture so keep that in mind uh, but it doesn't matter the more bigger network the more opportunities and more volume so i'm certainly excited about that now ashish burla who works at ripple uh, addressed some fud so uh here coindesk had reported that payments from ripple has uh, uh, excuse me payments from ripple has given moneygram over 11 million dollars in the past half year on top of its existing stake, according to regulatory filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission. So Ashish is like, uh, they're using this to kind of paint that in a negative light, that there's some sort of like secret weird thing happening here. So Ashish, Ashish says, always with hysteria, first Ripple and MoneyGram Incorporated are strategic partners, which of course we know about this. We are building new infrastructure together. This market development development requires a ton of work, effort, and resources. Surprise, that costs money. So obviously, they have a strategic partnership, and you kind of have to oil the machine here, right? You're going to have to build out and make investments. Ripple is a company, and they're trying to build the bridges, build the corridors, you know, get the things in place so that they can leverage their digital asset, XRP. So he also said here, second, Feel free to do a Google search on payment network incentives. Fun fact, Visa and PayPal have employed incentive programs to boost network adoption since day one. Visa allocated a casual $4.1 billion on incentives in 2019. Uh, MoneyGram said today that 
They are actively expanding to new corridors, which I just talked to you guys about, and even working to integrate RippleNet for account-to-account -account transfers in 2020. ODL reduces their capital costs because of the product's efficiencies, not because they are receiving any fee on the other side. So, uh, you know, the FUDsters like to take these things. They don't, uh, many of them don't understand business. They're just looking at it from a crypto bubble standpoint. And uh, at the end of the day, I keep saying it, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, all these things have to be translated into the real world, into a practical daily uses, right? They have to have use cases. And um, this is the investments Ripple's making because it's a real business. Money grants a real company. It takes money to make money. And a lot of people still don't grasp that. But hey, you know what? To each their own. Um, I'm bullish on XRP. I'm bullish on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. So uh, I diversify. I, I'm And XRP is my number one. Now, guys, you want even more uh, confirmation crypto is here to stay and not to panic and worry about the prices right now. Fed, the Federal Reserve, their, their faster payments um, improvement task force here, tweeted the following. Are you headed to the payment summit 2020? Check out Boston Federal Reserve SVP Jim Kun, Kunha. Kunha. I apologize if I butchered that, in a panel discussion today on blockchain and cryptocurrencies and payments. Crypto is getting so big, this asset class is on the rise, even the Federal Reserve and all these people can't ignore it. That's why you have Steve Mnuchin talking about it. That's why you have the IRS holding uh, tax crypto tax summits and the Congress is meeting like every month to talk about it. That's why Trump tweeted about it. It is here to stay, guys. And banks, stock exchanges, financial conglomerates, and all these big players are involved. Swiss Stock Exchange invests in institutional trading platform for digital assets. Now, why would they do that, guys? Why would they invest? To so some people, crypto is going to zero. To some people, it's a scam. It's, a, it's garbage. It's magic internet money. It's a waste. But as usual... Uh, you have people who are not well informed, and that's why I tried to keep everybody informed here by providing the facts. Their big money is investing and expanding, guys. So Switzerland's leading stock exchange has invested in that institutional platform uh, with plans to use it as a gateway into the digital asset space. This is awesome. Um, so it, it has formed a partnership with San Francisco-based solution Omniex to provide six to provide six and its subsidiary Swiss Digital Exchange with access to cryptocurrency markets. Boom. What else do you need here, guys? I mean, I, and once again, you, you got to take your emotions out of it, right, uh, with the price swings because uh, it's going to happen along the way up. And these are the things you have to pay attention to. This is significant. Why would a stock exchange and all these in Wall Street firms and investment firms and hedge funds be putting, investing money into it, especially when the market is going down? Why are they still doing it? Because they are not looking now. They are looking in the future. They want to make money. Trust me, guys. The name of the game is to make money, right? To have a make a profit and uh, make their their CEOs, stockholders, and and clients and people happy, right? That is the name of the game, of course. And they're putting in there because they know they're going to get good return because it's so early. Uh, more information here. South Korea's Bithum launches zero free transfers to global platform. So uh, competition's heating up between different exchanges around the globe, which is great to see. That's beneficial to us as the consumer. South Korea's largest crypto exchange, Bithum, has announced it will take another step towards global expansion by strengthening its integration and its international arm. Once again, why are they expanding global? It takes money to do that because they know what's coming, guys. Um, and I, I hope you see it too. I hope, you know, if these the prices dip, I don't care, guys, because I've already lived through these cycles before on the way up. Some of you who are new, maybe it's it's like kind of scary, but you, this is why I try to share the facts with you. Price will follow the building and maturation of the market. And if you see stock exchanges, banks, governments, and all of them are on board talking about it, build, making plans, you know what's coming next, guys. This thing is going to be big. Just look, go back and research the dot-com and internet boom and look at what happened there. And you have the opportunity of a lifetime that you, know, you don't have to be an accredited investor. You can be an average Joe investing in, in cryptocurrencies and digital assets. So guys, what do you think about this news? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll talk to you all later.